If you're new here, welcome. And today's video is all about getting hands on building a DIY beam console table using remnants from our home build. Let's get in today's video. This was our first time building a piece of furniture out of beams. For the top piece, we knew we wanted a key inlay that is flushed with the legs. On day one, we cut a small section of the beam to figure out how to make the cuts as clean as possible. The tools that we used on day one was our handsaw and chainsaw to cut the first inlay and well, we do not recommend it because it came out horrible. Our next solution was to use our handsaw, dremel, mallet, and wood chisel. It worked perfectly. The next day, we started by marking our legs to make the cutouts for the top. For this, we made multiple cuts with a circular saw, then used the dremel and wood chisel to clean up. Today we moved on to the top of our piece. All I can say is that the old saying of measure twice, cut once is so true. We made sure to mark everything, check our angles, and double check before we made any cuts. This part was much easier than our legs as we were able to cut away most of the material with our circular saws. It's rare that me and my husband work on projects together, so this was fun and it was also challenging. So just real quick to minimize the amount of chiseling and everything else that we have to do we're just gonna make some cuts with a circular saw do a little bit of hand sawing since Tasha finds that therapeutic and we're gonna be removing anything with these hash marks on it so we're gonna cut from here to there Ooh, there's a knot on this side, which is not going to be fun. It might be fun. It's good exercise. It'll be a pretty easy cut. I don't know about you, but I find hand sawing to be so relaxing and therapeutic. Let me know in the comments if you can relate. This was where we tested our cuts to see what adjustments would need to be made. Dry fitting the two joining areas helped us visualize what we need to clean up to move forward.
third time is a charm. Now, it's time to prep for Sandy. Well, I know a lot of people like the look of gaps on their pieces. I wanted a smoother transition, so we are using wood filler in between the top and the legs. To start putting on the finishing touches, I use 120 grit sandpaper on my cordless Dewalt sander. I really love this thing as there's no cords to get in the way and it makes my job so much easier. To finish our piece, I used mini wax wood effect to seal. I wanted a nice clean finish that didn't take away from the natural look of the Douglas fur. It took two coats to complete the look that I wanted. I also used a finishing paste and a heat gun to seal some of the open grain surfaces. Here's the final piece. I absolutely love how this custom console table made from our remnants turned out. Now it's time for the fun part and that is to decorate. As you guys know, my home is a new custom build. And while our home may be new, it's very important for me to add loads of character to make my house feel like home. The overall concept for my home is to have a classic look while bringing in vintage and earthy materials to make the overall space look and feel very cozy, relaxed, and welcoming. Texture is always number one when designing or decorating my spaces. Adding these beautiful tobacco baskets stacked horizontally draws your eyes up and also provides depth. On the other side of the entrance, I knew that I wanted a mirror to allow more light to reflect through the space and to make the entry feel more grand. I purchased two arch mirrors to play with my arch front door. Why two mirrors? The reason is simple, it's something unexpected and it came out stunning. In my entry, I am playing with a lot of repetition and scale while remaining balanced. I found this beautiful double woven lamp that is not only a beautiful statement piece, but it also adds more texture through the woven materials and make the space feel more connected. To soften the space, I purchased this drum shade, which brings softness and elegance to the piece. Alexa, turn on for your lamp. I absolutely love this feature for nighttime ambiance. I found this cute sign that served as a reminder that I am home. I have a deep love for books and I love to incorporate books that I have read. I use the black book to help not only ground the space but to 
Also repeat the color of my front door. A brown book to go with my natural pieces and a white book to work well with my lamp. The last piece of decor is a simple vase that I painted matte black to balance everything out. Design does not have to be complicated. You can use simple pieces that you love to make a statement. I am currently looking for the perfect area rug to complete the overall look in my entry. I hope you guys enjoyed the design of this space as much as I did. I thank you all for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to follow on my journey. And I will see you guys next time.